In this video, we're going to take a look at exponentials and what you have to do for those on the test. So, first thing is you need to be able to write an equation from a word problem. So I'll do the first one, then you can pause the video and do the second one here. So, you are buying a new car. You are at the desk about to sign papers. The car costs $32,000 and they are giving you a 7% interest rate on your loan. Write an equation to model how much you would owe. Now again, this is simplifying things without payments. So what would this cost you if you didn't make any payments? So your equation Y equals your starting value, in this case, 32,000 times one, now this is getting bigger because they're charging you interest. You're going to owe more money. So one plus 7%. Remember, you move the decimal point over twice to become 0 0.07 to the power of, you could use X or T up here, either one. doesn't really matter what letter you use. So now, how much would you owe in two years if you never made any payments? That two, dollar, that two years would go in for X. So we would have to type in 32,000, 1 plus 0 0.07 to the power of 2. Make my decimal point bigger. Uh, you would type that into GeoGebra to get your answer. So if you want to see that, I can do that for you here. Let me pull up a brand new one. So 32,000, uh, 1 plus 0 0.07, and you're going to raise that to the power of 2. So we would owe $36,636.80. So thirty-six thousand six hundred and oops, I just forgot the number. Thirty-six thousand six hundred and thirty-six. Thirty-six thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars and eighty cents is what we owe. Okay, pause the video. Try this other problem. Very, very similar. Make sure you can do that. You will need to do that on the test. So pause the video and try it out. All right, let's move on here. Next, this time I have a word problem, but I'm giving you the equation this time. So suppose in back in 2008, you invested in the product Microsoft Zune, which is kind of a joke. Uh, that was an MP3 player that Microsoft made to rival the iPod. And of course, nobody has heard of the Microsoft Zune. The product flopped. The value of your investment can be modeled by the function y equals 5,000 times 0.75 to the power of t. So how much money did you invest at the start? That one's nice and easy. Your starting point is right here, $5,000. Again, on the test, you'll want to put that into a sentence. I invested $5,000 at the beginning. Now, what percent are you losing every year? This is what's giving us some trouble. So we've got to figure out what rate was the 0.75 coming from. So remember, inside those parentheses, it was 1 plus something to the power of x. I guess not plus was it. It would have been a minus because we were losing money. So it's 1 minus some rate. And yes, the 5,000 is in the middle or in the front. But what rate was it to turn this into 0.75? And I think we should be able to do that in our head. A dollar minus what is 75 cents? Well, that came from 1 minus 0.25, which then turns into 0.75. So 0.25 was the number in the equation, which means 25 percent. We were losing 25 percent of our money every year.
I, I want you to try that on this next one. Again, I gave you the equation and then you have to interpret the numbers in it. So pause the video and make sure you can do those. All right, now there's some straight drill and kill. We've got to be able to write these equations quickly. Um, I guess I'll do one of them and then you can do the others. So real first, uh, start 200, so y equals 200. The growth by 3%, so 1, it's growth, so plus 3%. You move the decimal point over twice to the power of x. That would be nice to simplify that. y is equal to 200 on the inside. 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03 to the x. So again, pause the video, try out the other two, make sure you can write those equations. No word problems, just practice. All right, moving on, last bit here. This is the same thing, but backwards. So can we interpret these equations? You're essentially making up a word problem for this equation, telling me what these two things mean. So let's do that here let's take this one so I'll do this one for you and then you can do the others so what does this mean let's do this in a nice color there so I see 5,000 as the beginning so we uh, invested or started with five, probably money, $5,000. Then we, now I see that B value here is smaller than one. So we are losing money. Then we started losing. How much did we start losing? Well, how much smaller than a dollar is this? This is five cents smaller than a dollar. So we started losing 5% every year. All right, that is exponential decay. It's getting smaller. Now, again, if you're a little confused about where that 5% came from, I just had to think. This was 1 minus the rate, and it became 0.95. What did that R have to be? Five cents, which is 5%. So make sure you can write a sentence based off an equation. So let me show you the other ones again. Pause the video. This is the last one. Make sure you can write a sentence that describes what these equations mean.